Hi and welcome back to the countertop and today we are doing pork loin with apples and cider from this book. Hi and welcome back. And the recipe I'm doing today is from this book, Recipes from the Italian Butcher by the Silver Spoon Kitchen. So the Silver Spoon Kitchen is a group of specialists out of Italy that pretty much organize, collect and publish classic Italian recipes, uh, sometimes for region, sometimes for this one, which is specifically for meats and so on. Uh, talking a little bit about the book, the book is very interesting. If you go in the back, you have pretty much a glossary that explain uh, the techniques uh, how they expect you to do the techniques and also the ingredients and also on the last page there's one thing super important is butter should always be salted so this is one thing very important on books so sometimes you just go straight to the recipes but you forgot to read the intros and the glossary that explains a lot of the book and how the techniques are being handled on the book all right another really interesting thing on this book is how they compare Italian cuts, American cuts and British cuts. You should do uh, a deep read on that, it's very interesting. And the recipe we are doing today is a roasted pork loin with apples and cider. So it's a very simple one day pork loin that you can do on the stove top. Very, very delicious, very simple. And that's it, let's go for the ingredients. So here's all the ingredients that we need for a pork loin. So the first thing you're gonna need, of course, is your pork loin. So 800 grams of pork loin. You also do a twine here before you start. You're also gonna need some sale di servia. It's a very specific sale of Italy uh, to make the rub. Uh, you can find these very easy on Amazon. Uh, one thing, uh, this salt is the salt that actually they use on prosciutto parma and the parmigiano reggiano. So it's a very uh, important salt for all those ingredients. You're also going to need two tablespoons of salted butter, four tablespoons of oil, uh, olive oil, two springs of thyme, two springs of sage, one garlic clove, four small apples, one cup and one quarter of hard cider, and some pepper. All right, let's do it. Cool. So the first thing you're going to do is to heat the olive oil together with the butter in your Dutch oven. So we're gonna put these on high heat here. But before that, we also going to make the rub uh, on the pork loin and also putting our thyme inside the twine so, so uh, the thyme flavor goes straight to the pork, all right? So let's start doing that. You try to rub uh, all the sides, including the front and the back. Normally, sometimes people forget about these. Rub all the sides. Now you get your thyme. You put under your twine in one side. You turn the pork. You put it on the other twine on the other side. All right, let's go to the stove. Now that our butter has been melted and the olive oil is heated together, we're gonna put our pork loin in the cast iron and start searing. While we're searing our pork loin, you're gonna get your apples and make an incision in the middle around all the apple. You're gonna do these with all the four apples. And now let's turn our line. Now that we have our pork loin fully brown, we're gonna add the garlic that I crush, the sage, we're gonna reduce the heat, and you're gonna add also the cider to bring to a simmer and reduce before we move to the next step. Mm. 
Cool, so now that our apple has been uh, simmering and reduced, we're gonna put our uh, heat on low, add the apples, cover for 50 minutes, uh, and then during this time, it's good for you to turn the pork from, from time to time. Cool, so now after our 50 minutes, uh, pretty much everything should be ready, so. As you can see, all the apples went away, so pretty much like they, they, they dissolve uh, during the boiling. boiling. Uh, now, what we are going to do is going to remove our pork from here first. Leave it here and wait 15 minutes. We're gonna cover this now and wait 15 minutes. And while you're doing that, we're gonna strain the sauce here. Look. All the apples are gone. It's gonna be delicious. We're gonna strain these to make our gravy. All right, let's do that. Cool, after 15 minutes of this being covered, we're gonna open these. And then first we're gonna remove our twine. Now we're going to carve it. And we're going to put some extra sauce in it. Cool. Now let's try it. Cool. So let's try it. Let me get one piece here. First one. All of them seems very juicy, which is good. It's fully cooked. Let's see. Put a little bit of the sauce too. Separately, as it goes. Mm. It's good. I expect the sauce to be more, have more, a little bit more about the apple taste. I don't feel that much. I feel like some notes about the apple. So probably maybe because my apples weren't sweet enough or something like that. But actually it's really good, it's really well cooked. Uh, we can feel the thyme, we can feel the sage. So the salt apparently incredibly super well balanced comparing and considering all the salt were in the crust. But that was really, really good. Again, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna still eating and see you next time. Bye.